welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the blind playthrough on Insane Difficulty Act 2 Chapter 4. Finally we can have a couple more optional missions and we either do uh, Vasker's scavenger run uh, which apparently is another one of those um, another one of those missions where we need to retrieve as many equipment cases as possible but at the same time are being greeted by those aerial assaults or alternatively we can do freedom claw which i haven't really understood um, how that's going to work but it uh, allows us only a maximum of two units squad requirements Well, here we can field four and since this potentially the more difficult mission to be entirely honest i'm going to do it uh the four characters that i would like to bring we uh, get a bonus if we don't bring a sniper that's fine done deal four characters that i would like to bring are sandback here uh, the new vanguard that we've just rescued she is skilled to um, drive fear into the hearts of the enemies we got trigger here and trigger is explosion shot skill so i'd like to see how both of them are doing this time we do have specter with us who's kind of leading that pack and a discount version of diaz and a specialist called um, silas what would what, what, what? yeah we, we don't need any we don't need any uh, extra weapon mods on these guys we're fine we're still going to be fine with them. I don't want Good to put news. the... We've tracked down some equipment. Bad news. The Grubs have the area targeted for bombardment. Hurry and grab those crates. I was about to say I didn't want to put the rather good uh, equipment on those uh, alternative characters. Also, it'll be a great showcase whether or not you can do it with white and um, bluish gear so let's see how difficult this is actually going to turn out get those equipment cases before they get blown to bits good we gotta collect three of those equipment cases and the mission type here is deadly specifically since the overwatch shots of the enemy deal 200% more damage and are 200% more accurate so that's going to hurt got a crate here got a crate here got a crate here and here and here and our extraction zone is potentially there so this is going to suck standing by Orders. Can we eventually grab this one? Yes. We're not going to use sprint because move. sprint will not allow us to grab the crate. Got it. Instead, the front line is moving up. As far as we humanly can move up. Jack moves up as well. Let's do Understood. one move to here. And then we're sprinting. Which gets us all the way over here. And then we're gliding yep. into cover. Even better. All right, support. Trying to squeeze out that extra little bit of Welcome. movement. And what I noticed is you can glide into cover and get a bit more movement. And sometimes that makes all the difference. Wait, 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 what is this guy? Oh, that was... That was one of those that was one of those drones with extra damage. Is that true? Stay out of the blast zone. Orders. Uh, 
Okay, well, well. First things first, shall we? I think this guy had the evasion aura, right? Yeah, show him. Pretty sure he did. Good, we're going to use our explosives quite liberally. Standing by. And our heavy takes the best position. Forty-five percent, uh, not good enough. But what we could do is we could uh, we could theoretically dish out some more damage. He's not Overwatch skilled. Awaiting orders. Can we realistically move somewhere within two movement uh, from slots? We could definitely cloak, but I think that's not the idea here. Grants the bloodthirsty effect to nearby friendly units. 50% of the damage dealt is regenerated. So they are just trying to survive, really. Eyes peeled. Awaiting orders. To be entirely honest, I think we got to charge in. Acknowledged. I'm listening. Got to get a bit ahead of the curve. Jake is giving everybody an aura and then begins to I read you. turn invisible. We're maximizing the damage that we're doing this turn. One action and 20% damage. Should we give it over or should we wait? I think we're waiting. Uh, this is actually a really good uh, skill and I would like to use it when it is absolutely needed. Instead, we're overwatching for now. Hopefully this will interrupt the Hammer, uh, hammer type drone. Ready. Okay, let's. It, this guy has a lot of, a lot of hit points. Let's just disabling shot him. Good. That takes care of uh, yeah. the biggest problem. Problem. And we're moving in, and this is going to be a one-shot kill. Coming through. Oh. Gotcha. Your history. Twenty percent extra damage. I like it. Intimidate. How large? Oh wow, the the radius is actually quite large. I might have underestimated how good the ability is. All of them would lose cover. That's a good ability. Uh, 
And even this here, after we charged in, everybody who downs an enemy gains one action. Oh boy, that's maybe a decent skill Moving tree for the here. Vanguard. Okay. Jack picks up the crates and then continues to move on. I read you. We're continuing to move as far as we can. Sprint is not yet ready. Understood. One sprint. I wanted to move all the way to there. Ah, that was that was a misclick. I wanted to move to there. Jack continues to collect all of the crates, which I think is the right thing to do. Yeah. In the meantime... How far can we throw our grenade? Almost far enough. All right. This year could be a really decent turn. So, first things first. Hitting all of them and hitting them quite well. Okay. So far, so good. Now is the right moment in time to use that extra ability. Give them hell. Unfortunately, our proximity mine is not ready yet. Solid copy. Moving up. close enough uh, that's unfortunate I was hoping we could throw the grenade just down hey okay on the move Okay, so we got that one under control. We could move all the way to here. And then lock down another grenade. Moving to position. That's two down, nice one. two injured, one of them actually quite heavily. 
and we're continuing to charge forward let's make ourselves invisible and continue to collect the last two crates so far i think we're doing fine He still could take a shot. This will be good. Okay, so I'm listening. Moving to here. Good, we gotta interrupt these guys down there. Okay, well, this turn is a really good turn uh, to eventually get our shit together. One Sweet. and two. We're going to get an extra ability point, uh, turn, uh, an extra action point uh, soon. That's not enough. Target is down. So far, so good. Scout on standby. Can we move? Can we move down without using two actions? No, we cannot. Ah, stupid position to be in. Okay. Good, so that I'll kill you all. removes him and also removes the overwatch. Very good. Here. On the move. That looks dead to me. If we give extra accuracy, ah, uh, won't really matter. We rather should continue killing. Good kill. All right, teamwork triggers yet again. Hey, standing by. Taking position. 
Taking good position here. Do we have proximity mine? No, we don't. Not yet. Can't really bayonet charge either. If the target is hit, it is interrupted and loses all positive status effect. Uh, that is not bad, I like it. I like the breach ability even more. Three eighteen, and that should be a kill. Ready. On my way. Scout moves in. How's that? More action points. Jake says. Thank you. Ready. And we can actually Standing overwatch now. from here. This is definitely going to be a cloaking turn. Go ahead. Going to use the chainsaw next turn. Not now. Uh, we won't be able to kill all of them. Not in one go. Not enough juice left. Next turn, next turn we're going to actually clean up the entirety here. Watch it. Here they come. Okay, we gotta move and we gotta move soon. sorts out number one problem on it that's our target 350 so two shots will definitely be a kill no two shots will not definitely be a kill Huh, psych. The miscalculation. Yes. Ready. Okay, so here we go again. This is definitely a kill. Keep them coming. Acknowledged. Nice little hit. No prison. Keep them coming. Yep. And Anyone another one. Else? So two extra AP for everyone. Drop 
stopped him. And whilst we're at it, let's just get the crate here. On my way. Picking up another crate. Standing by. Go ahead. Good. It looks like we have made it. The last extra uh, two ability Bring points on, really man. swung it in our favor. We're up. Roger that. I'm listening. Stand Barely on. makes it into the circle. But yeah, that was good. And everybody survived. Hooray. Hooray. So what did we learn? The demoralization definitely is something to look into. That that is incredibly good like demoralization straight up uh, the range fantastic and even um, the ultimate which allows you to leech off of them i can i can definitely see how you're charging in with your bayonet then immediately get the uh, ap back and then afterwards uh, use all of your shouts right Jack finally is promoted and we got six chests to claim. Plenty of tools to play with. So let's see what our team uh, has gotten. So we gotten this new helm here. 10% uh, critical um, strike chance when this enemy, uh, when this unit uh, targets an enemy out of cover, it gets double crit chance. Oh boy. Hmm. Who should we give that to? I mean, the sniper is almost an obvious choice. I think it's going to be her. Who else? Yeah, double crit, uh, double critical hit chance. That is nasty. Speaking about um, being nasty, this is forty percent crit damage, so that would be great. And Overwatch shots are not really her speciality, but seven percent additional crit chance. That is that is good. The overwatch shots is more a heavy topic. Extra accuracy and 30 damage, yeah. I mean, overall, we're looking at 37% crit chance. <clears throat> Double that. Um, so almost 80% crit chance when out of cover. The one thing that we're still struggling with is that ammunition. So I was hoping we would get an, a bit more ammunition. Fortunately, that seems to be not the case. Five percent accuracy bonus. I would think that that is helpful. Accuracy is always helpful, specifically since you get an accuracy malus if you're kind of fighting on that mid range. And here we have healing skills plus 20 percent versus 10 percent accuracy. I don't know, guys. I mean, look, 20% healing. We're not healing that often. So let's instead equip accuracy bonus here and see with our heavy. I 
I said, let's see with our heavy. Where's our heavy? There we go, tank. Ten percent, ten damage and disrupt. This is exactly what we want. Patrol twenty percent more damage on Overwatch. Yes, extra ammunition. Yes, please. And thirty damage. Looks good. Back to our eventual weapons here and sorry for jumping around quite a bit let's give him an uh, the actual epic accuracy bonus we're now at 55 percent which isn't bad i can see a world where where with all of that accuracy bonus 15 percent and extra damage he can make a solid shooter and i suppose that's also what we wanted right Rare frag grenade with 75 de extra damage. Um, okay, yeah, I know who the recipient of that is going to be. She is nasty, uh, disgustingly strong um, grenades. Advanced optics, 20% uh, critical hit damage. Yeah, I think that's fine. As for the armor, autoloader, 60% chance to reload uh, one primary weapon ammo at the beginning of your turn. That might be something for our sniper. Potential. Why is that not taken? The, the uh, champion, no wait, uh, here. Uh, potential. 40% uh, chance to have a random skill cooldown reduced by 2. That is not bad. 50% critical resistance is good. When unit executes an enemy, each ally is healed for 10% of their maximum health. Who's executing the most enemies? Hmm. Good question. 7% evasion isn't bad either. Blitz. I think this is actually quite good for him. 40% chance to gain plus one action at the start of your next turn is not bad because he's sometimes not taking a lot of actions. Ten percent evasion. On the other hand, the critical hit resistance isn't bad either, and thirty health certainly helps helps him. So I'll stick with the. Um, defensive portion there self-repair unit heals 10% uh, hit points that is good extra movement I think the extra movement is something that we're going to give to our scout let's go on with sit um, sit still is using an old um, an old stock so we're giving him crit chance that one is good. Accuracy all the way, yes. Crit damage isn't bad either, ex especially with a an improved uh, crit chance. And giving him 15 extra damage wouldn't hurt either. Armor. Last zone, ah, that's okay. Advanced optics. 10% critical hit damage. Uh, so that would go well together um, with, our, with, with our extra crit chance. But I think extra health is good. He had to tank oftentimes. Now, what is he wearing? Un um, untraceable 40% damage reduction for overwatch shots um, he does need the skills autoloader potentially not for him 
but we could um, we could give him the champion uh, skill that would not be bad uh, he's healing anyways the other option here is if he hasn't taken a shot no I'm I think I'm going to go with that champion uh, ability seems legit and here we had 20 health and 10% uh, damage reduction oh yeah we're going to keep that I don't see anything that is better than that damage reduction for our tank is definitely helpful Mikala uh, I think we got the uh, we went through the sniper so that is fine Wait a second, there are better pistols, and no one told me. Oh yeah, we're, yes, we're definitely going to swatch, uh, switch those out. 15% extra damage sometimes makes the difference with those pistol shots. Helmet, uh, she's the one with those extra optics and the crit chance, so that is definitely her thing. She has 30 health, there are better action uh, um, actions out here. 60% chance to reload primary weapon at the beginning of your turn. That's exactly what we need. And it only loses her 10 health, so that's a fantastic armor for her, because she always has armor problems. Movement and evasion. Units executes an enemy. There is a chance for a reduction. I think we're keeping those. Uh, not sure. Is she really executing it? It doesn't say kill. Does execute mean kill? I think it's the actual execution. I can. I could see movement to be important. Who's carrying those? That escapes. Okay. This here is our heavy. He should keep those. Yeah, we don't have really great shoes for her. I think the movement rate and the extra evasion will come in handy. Because I just realized our scout has better boots. The ones that give the cooldown reduction right yeah and we're not going to change those out they are just fantastic untraceable not really good random uh, skill cooldown reduced by two I think that's what we need that on the other hand is good as well plus one if you did not take a shot which this unit oftentimes did not do but I think we're going to take the skill reduction because that means more grenades. And as far as I'm concerned, grenades are overpowered. Specifically if you have 75 extra damage on them. <clears throat> extra pistol. Looks good. And finally, Jack. Okay, so we now get the support or our allies inside this aura get a cooldown reduction of one turn on all skills. That is fantastic. Clock duration is also good. And what do we have here? Each ally within 7.5 meters gets one action. Ah, yeah, okay. Well, Jack. You become overpowered, my friend. The auras that were already strong, like the coordinated assault is great. <clears throat> the sniper aura is fantastic. That 40% extra crit chance is is bongos, uh, specifically if you can um, kind of repeatedly put that on them. And the support aura seems just as bongos as well. Cooldown reduction on one turn on all skills. 
and I think that means whatever skill you're using it has one less uh, cooldown so put that next to a sniper as well and the cooldowns will refresh even faster and then here everybody just gets one action oh boy Jack you're incredible I love it good that uh, ends today's episode and next time we're going to go on with act 2 chapter 4 cover of darkness thank you for watching guys and don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment down below see you in the next episode bye bye